I'm not doing this. Just say it. No! Why not? Well, because everybody does it and it isn't fun anymore as it used to be. At least say it in German. Okay. Fick dich, Glenn! Relay G30. The only product from Line 6 that I purchased back in the days when it first appeared on the market, and I'm still using it today without having any troubles. Back in the days uh, when uh, Glenn was ripping on Line 6 products uh, the same way he would rip on base plays, because they uh, don't deliver good results. I was the one who actually put uh, comments under Glenn's video that uh, he should check uh, uh, the wireless systems from Line 6, because I was impressed by their quality. Glenn tested exactly the same device, and he was pissed off with it uh, as well. And that's uh, what inspired me to bring all this Line 6 wise of negative uh, video response series. So, let's take a closer look at the uh, Line 6 Relay G30. Line 6 would be Line 6 if they didn't come up with idea of recreating some kind of sound and putting it into their devices. In case with wireless system, they came up with idea of recreating the sound of a 3 meter and a 6 meter cables. Yes, you heard it right, the sound of a guitar cable. And this is another case of addiction of some of guitar players uh, to a steampunk technology. You see, cable ha has some capacity, and the longer the cable is, the higher is the capacity. What does it do with guitar signal? Well. Apparently, it cuts some of the trebles, and a lot of guitar players use cables just uh, to cut uh, some of high frequencies in the guitar signal. And this is what I don't understand, because every amp has uh, some sort of equalizer. And if you want to get rid of trebles, you simply turn the treble knob uh, slightly down. So, is it worth it to recreate uh, some of the high frequency loss by using the cable? I made a, a, an experiment. It was a lot of fun playing line on the floor next to my pedal board while I was using this short cable. Anyway, you can clearly hear the difference between long cable, short cable, the recreation of the cable and uh, the short cable while trebles were turned down. But as for me, I can say that one sound was better than another, maybe it's a matter of personal taste and I would actually hear from you guys, what do you think? Is it uh, a worth of uh, discussion whether you should use the cable or wireless system or if you actually should just plug it any way you want and you're ready to rock? I heard that some uh, people use long cable for overdriven sound because you cut uh, some trebles and you get much uh, uh, heavier and uh, much punchier sound. So I made another test uh, for overdriven sound using the same uh, things.
The only issue that I had with the recreation of the guitar cable sound is that this is the option that I never use, but I still had to pay for it. And sometimes I would prefer some dead simple device without uh, extra options uh, that I never use. And I would like to pay a slightly cheaper price for it. And that's what I want to hear from you guys. Leave a comment below. Do you actually use uh, this recreation of the guitar cable sound or do you switch it off and use it uh, as me, as uh, just wireless system? Otherwise, I didn't have any issues with its sound quality. Back in the days, it was uh, the first uh, digital uh, wireless system on the market, meaning that the uh, transmitter digitalizes uh, the signal and then uh, he sends uh, the digital signal uh, to the receiver. And anything uh, that doesn't belong to this signal uh, doesn't ap appear in the final result, meaning there will be no issues uh, with uh, some a radio signal that doesn't belong uh, to all these analog systems. And back in the days uh, they did cost about 300 euros and nowadays it's much cheaper and it uh, did beat up uh, all the wireless systems that uh, were on the market before this. That were about 1000 euros. So I was really happy to get this device. When it first appeared on the market, uh, some of retailers claimed that G30 stays for 30 meters range. And so I wanted to test it, if it's uh, true or not, and what happens if I cross this line of 30 meters range between the receiver and the transmitter. And how do I do it without pissing off the neighbors? Well, I decided to go into the forest. For this, I grabbed my uh, acoustic guitar amplifier that can work with batteries and my Ibanez uh, RG7321 that has uh, piezo saddles from Graftek in it. And it uh, has two outputs, one for magnetic pickups and one uh, for piezo pickups. So you can play it uh, through acoustic amplifier and get nice acoustic guitar sounds. I also grabbed a bunch of parallel connected 9 volt batteries because uh, the receiver needs a lot of power. The recording device that I connected to the line output of the amp and the 10 meter microphone cable. That's way I can locate exactly the 30 meter range. As you can hear, I have some troubles with my timing. Do you know why? The further you go from the receiver, the more delay you get between the time you hit the string and you hear the sound of the string. First of all, I thought that this is because of latency, the big issue in digital world. Then I realized that this is simple physics. You see, the speed of sound is something between 340 or 360 meters per second depending on uh, the temperature of the air. And so if you go 30 meters away from the sound source it takes uh, 0 0.1 uh, second until uh, the sound reaches your ears. To demonstrate it I plugged uh, the uh, magnetic output uh, of my guitar uh, to recording device and reamped it afterwards and uh, the sound uh, of the amplifier I recorded uh, 30 meters away from uh, the amp and I bent it extreme uh, left and right so you can hear what I mean. Actually, during this test I walked about uh, 60 meters away from the receiver and this device was still working. But I couldn't keep mine playing in time because of delay issues and I kind of doubt that I'll ever play on a stage uh, that is over 30 meters big 
but if I'll do, I'll definitely need some good monitoring system. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with the Line 6 Relay G30. So, what did a piece of Glen this much? Basically, the whole building quality, because it's all plastic and that during his test uh, the grip that was supposed to be attached uh, to uh, the guitar strap just broke down. Well, welcome to the real world, Glenn. When it comes to equipment, Glenn says sometimes something like it's pretty expensive, but you'd better save some money and buy it because it will last you for a lifetime. So let's take at some of the equipment from the real world. For example, here is my full mechanical camera that was made uh, back in the 70s. It's still working. And a couple of my digital cameras that uh, I purchased new a couple of years ago had to go through the service and to be fixed uh, even if they have less moving parts uh, and less mechanical parts. Here is a tape deck that was made back in uh, 1996, I guess. So I purchased it to digitalize a couple of my personal cassettes and I had to replace uh, some belts. So it was all plasticky inside and uh, I know for sure that it uh, won't survive another belt change. And back in the 70s uh, all the mechanism wouldn't be as plasticky and especially in the high quality devices like this. And here is one of the lens uh, that was made, uh, I guess, also back in the 70s. Surely it doesn't have autofocus, because uh, back in those days uh, there was no such a thing as an autofocus. But still, you can attach it to a digital camera and get a couple of good results, and uh, this is still working. And I don't know if uh, the modern lenses from the modern digital uh, cameras will survive as long. So. I don't want to get like Greta, but not this one, I mean uh, the one uh, who was in UN assembly uh, lately, and to get uh, into all this uh, conspiracy stuff, but I have to admit that there is some kind of problem in modern world. There is a nice documentary that is called Light Bulb Conspiracy, and it's got pretty good point. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. The thing is, a lot of companies uh, make their products barely good, so that the products will uh, break a couple of years after you purchased it. Why? Well, if you buy some products that last for a lifetime and everybody does the same, you'll probably never buy another product anytime soon. And so, company won't sell anything and it go out of business. And so it doesn't matter how much environmental issues uh, it causes and how much trash uh, there will be delivered to third uh, world countries, but as long as uh, the companies uh, get their profits, it will be made. I don't want to be political on this channel because it's all about music, but it's just uh, some issues that you have to deal uh, living in the modern world. Well, I'm pretty glad that uh, in music industry it's not uh, the same yet. Maybe because it's a niche product and uh, there are not as much musicians and uh, there's no need to do the same. Or nobody has figured out that you can do the same stuff with the music industry as well. But that's what you get uh, once in a while uh, in music uh, industry as well. So, can I recommend it? Well, actually Glenn made another video and said that you should probably uh, buy some small bag for transmitter to keep it uh, together. Back in the days when I purchased it, there was no such a thing as an external bag for Line 6 uh, G30. That's why I've got uh, the bag made personally by my sister. So, that's how I keep it, and uh, I don't have any issues with it. And uh, another thing, there were another um, digital transmitters and receivers on the market ever since, for example, Harley Benton, uh, Nux or x -Vive. I guess they come all from the same Chinese factory, but I'm not sure. 
and they uh, have a lot of uh, good reviews. Maybe I'll check it anytime soon. The only problem that I have with the uh, stuff that the, they have a rechargeable battery in it and I don't know how long does it last and uh, if I can uh, find any replacement battery for it. That's why sometimes I prefer something like this where I can change uh, the batteries myself. But it's uh, much cheaper than uh, Line 6 products. So let's make it this way. If this video will receive 20,000 views, I'll uh, grab all the uh, three of uh, these uh, wireless systems that I mentioned before, if they are still on the market, and I'll uh, make my personal test. So, in the meantime, have a nice day and keep on rocking!